Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Beth White and we're in my kitchen. I am in my kitchen. So welcome back to my kitchen. <laughs> well anyway, I'm going to cook today a shepherd's pie. Okay, but I'm using beef. So uh, some people call this cottage pie because shepherd's pie use mm, lamb meat. Yes. So well anyway, I don't have lamb meat and uh, I only have beef, ground beef here. I have ground beef and so I will show you how I cook my own version of shepherd's pie. So, okay, so without further ado, I will introduce you, I will introduce my ingredients to you. I will use two pieces of large yellow onion or white, white onions and then I will mix the vegetables here, uh, beef, ground beef, okay, of course, the mashed potato. Okay, um, I'm using the instant mashed potato because I have a lot of this. <laughs> Every one of us have a, their own way of cooking. So this is me. This is how I cook my shepherd's pie. Don't get me wrong. If you have your own style, then uh, yes, yes. <laughs> then do it. All right. All right. I'm just showing you how I cook my shepherd's pie. So if you want to try it, I can assure you that it is delicious. I'm just using the instant mashed potato bar. Watch out for that. I'm using potato. <laughs> okay. Less effort. No peeling. No mushing. It's already mushed. Just mix it. Okay? Alright, so I finished cutting my onions and uh, garlic. So let's start cooking. Let's go. Alright, so I ran out of butter, so I changed it. Let's uh, continue. Let's continue cooking. Okay, just medium heat because I'm using olive oil. We'll continue doing this till our onion is wilted. Alright, so I'll be back. Okay, now as you can see, our onion is wilted. We can add now our ground beef. Alright. Alright, now so I'm going to add my salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Just like so, and then my pepper, black pepper, black pepper here. Okay, just a little bit because I'm going to use this. Well, again guys, I'm not promoting any products. I'm not paid to promote their products anyway. Um, just showing it to you what I'm using in my cooking. So this is uh, steak and chop. I will add some sprinkle in there. I love the taste of this. Okay, and plus this one. Sesame. It's complete, but although it's complete sesame, I still have to add more sesame, more ingredients. Okay, so it's up to you. You can only, you, you can even just use salt and pepper. It um, just depend on your taste. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I'm just showing you how I cook my shepherd's pie. Oh, all right. And this is my shepherd's pie. Okay, I don't know about you, but I love adding cheese. And whatever cooking I am cooking, it depends. If I have visitors that don't eat meat or they are vegetarian, then I will not use this kind, this chicken soup. I will just use um, a vegetarian seasoning. Just like this one. This is all vegetables. So, yeah, see. So, since we don't have visitors, visitors eat with us. So, I'm using whatever ingredients I have on hand. I also have soy sauce, but I won't use it here because my husband cannot eat it with, with, a soy sauce, with a soy product. Yeah, it will trigger cancer. Alright, so there you go. Okay, I added salt and pepper. I added uh, more sesame, some goya. Again, I'm not promoting their product, but this is what I'm using. Also, I love to add the saison, this one. Okay. Alright. Or tomato paste, you can add um, one 
one one tablespoon. This one I will add some, uh, ketchup, about two tablespoons, just like so. All right. Okay. And I love adding. Oh, where's my spoon? Okay, one tablespoon of uh, flour. One tablespoon of flour to thicken the sauce. But I'll be adding water, a cup of water to cook our meat thoroughly. And okay, now I'm adding one cup of water. Let it simmer, let it simmer, I mean. Okay, and let the meat cook thoroughly. And while waiting for this, we have to make our mashed potato. Alright. Alright, so let's take a look. It's boiling. Then I have one more ingredient to add. This one, I opened it already, the saison. Saison. Again, I'm not promoting any product here, guys. <laughs> I'm just showing you my ingredients, so yeah, this is delicious, I am telling you, <laughs> I am telling you. Wait, I added two tablespoons of batter in my water, so that's why it looks like that. Alright, you can see that it's shimmering. Simmering, not shimmering, simmering. Okay, let's add our um, powdered potato and mix it. Mix, mix, mix. And uh, at this time, you can also add your um, this one. peas. All right, I love it. Oops, let's. Okay, hold on. Okay. Stop boiling! <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't see it because of the fog from the cooking. And now it is blurry. Blurry, guys, it's blurry. I will clean it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so let's continue. Okay. This is our mashed potato look like. See? Easy peasy. <laughs> Alright, let's add our meat. Just like so. Let's put everything. Everything okay. is added. And then let's even it with our spatula. in there, a little bit in there, a little bit in there, a little bit in there, 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 <laughs> right, okay, Oops. okay, okay, mm -hmm. Okay, now let's even the toppings, okay? We will be using our spatula. Okay, so you can leave it like this and add your toppings, any toppings you want. Parsley, paprika, butter, whatever. Or you can make a design, just like, um, well, use fork. I'm, I'm using fork to draw a line just for design sake just like so oh, 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 oh. why is it so crooked all right so just like so just to make just a design 
right? Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, let's do it just like so for our design. Design, design, design. This is just uh, design purposes. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. This, is, this will not add here. It add more taste to your, um, to your shepherd's pie. But to add, mm, looks on it. All right. So, well, I'm adding paprika just to color it a little bit, just like so. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Okay, just sprinkle it, just like so. Not too much because <laughs> uh, they might not be able to eat it. My husband and his uh, brother. All right, so there you have it. Let's put it to into our oven for uh, 15 to 20 minutes, or until the the top of your shepherd's pie uh, is golden brown. Okay, so let's do it. There you go. So this is how it looks like. All right. I uh, ended up um, baking it for 30 45 minutes. All right, so I will show it to you when it's ready to be cut. Right now it's still boiling. I will return it to the oven, okay? Because I'm going somewhere for a while. All right, so that's it for today. I'll be right back to show you how it looks like when you cut it, okay? I will show you how our shepherd's pie looks like when we slice it. Look at it. Oh, it's crispy. Okay. Okay, just a little bit. You can top this with, you can top this with cheese of your choice. But I didn't. So, it's up to you. Up to you, my friends. Okay. Moment of truth. Here we go. Let's take a look. Oops. Oh, hold on. Why is it hard? Okay. I mean the topping, the filling just threw up. Okay, so now this is how it looks like. Look at it. Look at this shepherd's pie. Okay, this is my slice. A little bit. Okay. There you go. I'm still in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm still in the kitchen. I'll just show it to you guys. How delicious. How delicious. This one. Alright. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let me eat it for you. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Alright, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe. God bless. Bye bye, everyone.